Hey, it's Anfa. And here is a subpixel display shader I made. So it looks like a regular display, regular texture. It's, uh, this one is set to be like kind of rough. You can see a reflection, reflection probe. Uh, it's, it looks normal until you get a bit closer. And then you start to notice the actual pixels, or even sub-pixels, that make up this image. If I slow my movement down all the way, you can see how we're getting from the sub-pixels, the regular image. Now this shader is made to introduce minimal aliasing, but it, there's a difficult balance between aliasing and sharpness, and well, I'm trying to uh, strike a, <laughs> a good balance here. There is some aliasing, and you can see at some at some positions there is some more effect and stuff, but it it's pretty tame, I think, and it disappears when you enable TAA. So. This shader plays nicely with TAA, and it works well without it. Yeah, I'm gonna have a little bit of that, but it, that's also how screens look in real life. I mean, if you sh if you record them with a camera, so the, yeah, this is no better than that. So there is an area, a transition area where there's a bit of aliasing that well. It was a difficult thing to balance. Maybe you can improve on this. Uh, that's what I what I have. It's looking pretty normal from far away. It should be like giving you no know, normal texture filtering. This is running from a a canvas texture. That's why I think it's uh, sorry a viewport. So I think that's why it's not uh, generating. Not as smooth uh, as should be, but with just a regular texture, you're gonna have, you know, mid mapping and stuff. Mm -hmm. You can just zoom in and zoom in <laughs> and zoom in until you see all the little sub pixels. Well, I wanted to pre release this shader like two days ago, but I realized it's it wasn't sub pixel perfect and it actually was quite quite blurry and misaligned, but I fixed that. Well, it took me a day or maybe a bit more than a day, but well, here we go. So I originally made this for the blast, which is the game I'm working on and the game project I'm doing on this channel. Uh but it's not limited to be useful in the blast. Uh, if you are interested in in a open source game made with open source software only that is made to prove that hey you can do that stuff, and also which is built as a framework and the game kind of separately to hopefully enable making commercial games on the same framework very much feasible. Well, if you're interested in that for first-person shooters with networking treated as a as a primary target well you might want to stay on this channel and check out other things yep your sub pixels bye